Hi everyone, this is Ryan over at HiPod, and today I'm going to show you how to download and install VLC for your high definition HiPod DVDs that you may have purchased. Now, what you're going to do first is go to your web browser and go to HiPodStuff.com or HiPod.com, either way will get you to the store. And once you're in the HiPod store, then you can scroll down and click on Game DVDs under Categories right there. Now select one of the US Soccer Finals or Playoff DVDs, any of these things here, and this will take you to the product. Under these products specifically, we have links uh, to the VLC and also to Splash if you're on Windows. But if you're using the Apple, uh, go to videoland.org. You can either just type it in or click on this link, either works. And there you go, you're right there on the VLC website. You can get the download right there. Just click on that and it will begin. And there it goes. You'll see a little ad down there. Now I've already done this so I just wanted to show you the download link. So I'm going to cancel that out. When you actually install it, you'll get the little pack down there. Just install it from the desktop and you will get a program that looks like this. Pull that into your Applications folder so that when you go into Applications, you will see right there, there is VLC ready to go. And then all you have to do is put in your DVD, which is right there. Now, you can access the files on the DVD without playing it. It will not play automatically like a, a, a commercial DVD on its own because this is HD DVD and you're installing a player for it. So you open up the DVD, you have three different options on the first screen here. You've got the BDMV folder, which is the one that we're interested in. Go ahead and dive into that folder and you see more options. We're interested now in the stream folder. The stream folder contains the actual clips that the DVD contains. These are the video clips that we want to watch. So what we do, we go down to VLC, we open up the player. Now we have our options at the top here. We'll just go to open file, and then I have this set up to go to stream automatically because I've already been there. But if you need, look over here on the left. There we are again, BDMV. Look down, you see stream. And then there are our clips. Now, we can play one clip at a time, but you would have to then go back and open up each clip individually as you go. So you don't have to do that on the Mac. You can actually then just go and take all of these files and hit open. Now, over here you'll see the player is booting up a little bit. I have it set to automatically start. So now it's automatically going to start playing the video. Now, since I'm recording a video and playing, you'll hear a little overlap in what's going on. But now it's playing. My computer's thinking very hard, but if I was only doing one thing, it would play nice and smoothly. And there you go. That's how you watch your standard uh, well, you'll watch your high-def DVDs through a standard drive on a computer. That's all there is to it. It's all about this software program. So what you're going to do then is just close it out when you're done. You can also, if you've got a program that can convert, you can grab the MTS, uh, M2TS file, put it on your desktop like that, and I have a program over here called Maypeg Stream Clip, which I love. And then you just take the file, throw it into this program, and then you can convert it to any kind of file type. So you can turn it into a MayPeg 4, or turn it into a .movie file, or pretty much whatever you want. So that's just a little extra thing, but you have other programs that can do that. And uh, that's, that's how you run the DVD itself. So that is the end of the video. I hope it helps, and enjoy your DVD.